yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a super blessed day. And I say it before each video because I truly do mean it. So as you guys know, we are still in the football off season, but with that being said, the grind never stops. Football is a year round sport. And with that being said, there are a ton of football camps, combines and showcases going on where some of the top athletes around the country are showcasing their talent. However, there's been one guy who I've been seeing a little bit more than others. There's an athlete out there that every time I see a clip of him doing something, whether it's on Instagram or Twitter, he's blowing the guy up and the dude just looks like a monster compared to whoever he's going up against and i've seen a couple of you guys commenting wanting me to watch him so you guys already know i got you so with that being said today we're going to be taking a look at orem high school zone out of orem utah noah sewell now noah is a 6 2 266 pound four-star athlete who's currently ranked as the number one player in utah the sixth best athlete in the country and the 77th best player in the class of 2020. Now, i'm not gonna front i was kind of surprised that noah was listed as an athlete and not as a linebacker simply because every single time I see him at one of these camps he's always playing linebacker but there's a reason why he's listed as an athlete now it's quite clear that every single camp that Noah goes through he's been balling out but on top of that he has a top 20 spark rating nationally all right now I'm done with this intro because this might be one of the most scary and fear inducing players that we see in the class of 2020 so with that being said let's get right into Noah's highlights three two one Psh all right, let's take a look at what this man Noah Sewell is looking like on that field. Like, oh. And if you guys didn't know, Orem High School is like one of, if not the, sit down, little boy. It's one of the best high schools in Utah. So, and, and they travel really well too. Way to get in the gap. They travel well for their competition too. So they're going up against the best of the best odds. That's easy money. That, that, that's easy money. For two. Oh, nice punch! Nice punch! Nope, where are you going, little boy? Sit down. This dude is massive. Like, 6'2, like, obviously you're tall, but like for 266, like, most defensive tackles are 266 in high school. And he's playing linebacker moving extremely well. Nope, sit down. There you go. Get off that block. Get off the block. There you go. Win him. Go make a tackle. <laughs> Yo. A couple of these plays, he's like lunging for the he's lunging for the block instead of going and like just driving through it. If he if, when he starts driving through tackles, bro, he's gonna be actually hurting kids. 266 running 4-7. Like, nah, man. Right now, the school, the, the biggest school that he's looking at is Oregon. Yo, yo, comment down below. I know I know, I got a couple Oregon fans. Yo, Oregon's kind of building something out there. They, they go and pick up the number one player this year. It looks like they're going to have another solid recruiting class next year. Like, is Oregon, is Oregon coming back to the national spotlight? Get off me, little boy. I can already tell you guys right now, he's improved so much in this from his junior to senior offseason. Because like I'm I'm looking at it and I'm just like, like obviously like he's aggressive. Obviously he's making tackles, but like he's not as aggressive as he looks like at these camps. So I'm telling you, his senior high his senior highlights are about to be disgusting. Like absolutely disgusting. Wait. Okay, I don't know how he got I don't know how he got out of there. But yeah, no, it, it looks like he He's out there to go and make a name for himself. There you go. Way to, way to be patient. When we're getting Santa Margarita High School. Wait, hold up. He absolutely blew up homeboy. He kind of cut back into him, too. Dink. <laughs> you know he felt that one. There you go. Yeah, no, this dude is just... 
he's playing. I mean, in his junior year, like again, hey, go ahead and break that up. I've never played linebacker. I'm just going off of what I've seen in these highlights and just what I know of the position. He's playing a little raw as far as like reading where he's supposed to be going in like tackling lanes and a couple things like that. And also he's not driving through on every tackle. He's just using his sheer size to just bring guys down. So when, uh, which again, I'm, I've seen a lot of that being improved at these camps, but obviously shorter, like shorts and shirts are different than pads, but it looks like he, he has no problem going out there and hitting someone. Um, but you know, it looks like he's cleaned up a lot of that in in this off season like like even even on a play like this like he's chilling right here it looks like he has this middle zone i don't he he's not responsible for this guy over here so i don't know why his first instinct is to jump over here instead he should just stay planted right here and then just wait to see where the ball goes because then he's just that much closer to the to making the tackle it's just little things like that again i've never played linebacker you guys can any linebackers can comment down below if what I'm saying is correct or comment down below what the right things to say are. But, uh, I mean, oh, oh my God, they got this man here running back. Oh, okay. Hold on, he did a little, he got a little, little sauce on him with the jump cut. He's like, excuse me? <laughs> but yeah, no, my, my man Noah, he's definitely one of those dudes that you get him in the right program, you get him in the right system, and he's just gonna flourish out there. Maybe we can get him at some RB. Get off me, little boy. Let's go. Yeah, no, I mean. Hold up. This dude is too cold. At Wait, is that him at? Wait. What is this takeoff? Why does he look like he's running a 4 5 40 right here? He just took off on them. This dude is too cold. But yeah, no. I I, I see now why he's because I thought he, I thought for sure he would have been a five star recruit. He's a four star off of like potential and his size. Obviously he's he's productive like a four star recruit too, but he should be a five star recruit. Now I would not be surprised if at the end of the at the end of his senior year or midway through the season he's a five star recruit. He's one of those guys that has the potential to go from being like right now he's in the he's in the seventies range to like top twenty even top fifteen player. He he has that potential. This kid is disgusting with these jump cuts at running back. Just leave him there, coach. Oh, but he could he could have just taken that and walked and just ran back to the end zone. Sit down, take them both out. Let's go. Don't give up on the play. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. He was abusing dudes on that. All right, dude, get the, both of those guys out. He like, I, I don't think you guys actually see it. This other guy, he doesn't touch the, he doesn't touch these guys. This guy right here, he doesn't touch them. Like, oh, my bad. He doesn't touch these guys. It's simply Noah. Boom, knocks both of them out. And then, uh, just get out of here, little boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, I'm convinced that Noah is going to be one of the most deadly linebackers slash just athletes in the country. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I didn't really understand why he was listed as an athlete. It looked like he was more of just a solid linebacker. But then when you see him playing running back and receiver, like he was legit, like running by dudes as a receiver. Like you, you, I get now why he's an athlete. 266, moving like that, 266 pounds moving like a guy who's like 215. Yeah, Noah's about to be something special in the class of 2020. But what'd you guys think of him? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, with that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, let's get this video to 600 likes, because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see, because that's all I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that you guys all have a super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.